Foster on Aaron Foster's podcast, and he'd been through some shit. He didn't want to talk about it. His mom got almost was murdered. Like, and that's another thing with athletes and entertainers, because everybody says athletes and entertainers are intertwined. They want to be the same thing. They want to do the same thing. And a lot of it is true. They grow up listening to music, playing sports. Athletes go to games wishing they would have played ball instead of doing dope and ended up uh, becoming rappers or whatever. Like, it's intertwined. And my biggest beef is, like, we need to really stop shitting on these kids because honestly i was talking to my mom and she's like man the stuff that we did in the 80s shit i'm glad there was no uh and, and, and no it, social media i'm glad we did the things that we did y'all could never get away with and, and kenny like this is something that you came to because before i used to shit on these kids like and i'm not calling you out i'm just saying yeah, like i, I was this, this I was is, like, these this little is kids your, is crazy this is your shit. this is your progression of like you you you've come to understand that even a four or five year gap is really a big difference. Man. I used to be those one of those kids. Man, I was depressed. I ended up homeless my junior year of high school playing football. I had people talking shit about me the moment I got hurt. I was on painkillers that weren't working and eroded my stomach lining. And I literally, at one point, I was walking like 40, 50 blocks to my little sister's daycare to pick her up. I wouldn't even use my bus fare. My mom was working three, four, five different shifts overnight at the hospital doing all types of shit just to make ends meet. And I have to hold down my little sister while we in motel rooms and shit because we just caught a bad break. And I was going through depression and all types of fucked up shit. But I knew better. I wasn't out here. I had, Honestly, I had multiple options to sell dope. I'm not even joking. Like I've been, I turn, I've been turning it down since I was like 15. And I know better, therefore I do better. But I understand cats who ain't doing better and know they should be doing better. I don't shit on them. I don't think I'm better than them. In fact, there's there's really only a couple of these separation between me and drug dealers and niggas in jail. And people who are in a, a mental facility and want to kill themselves, all types of shit. Hey, Keith ain't shit. He said he needs that Louis bag. Bro. <laughs> Keith, nah. <laughs> He thinks shit because he said Nas is overrated and then said the three best rappers Whis- are Lil Wiz. Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, and Nipsey Hussle. Really? Are we talking about hair or rapping? I, I, feel like I get Keith, I get it. You kind of look like Nipsey Hussle a little bit. But, like, come on, man. He's about I don't want to wanna, I don't wanna say that since I met He's him. Like, you kind of look like Nipsey Hussle's <laughs> older brother who lifted weights a little bit more. But right, honestly, can, can we transition to, to, to some lighter yeah, shit? To wrap this up, man. Because my shit was pretty depressing. But, like, it took me to go through everything I went through to learn and be a mentor to someone like my little sister and to younger cats, even when I was up at CSUN. Because some of these cats, they're like, I don't know who to turn to. I don't, like, even if it was, it was just something that's like, when I'm at work and kids ask me, hey, where, do I, where can I get something to eat around here? I don't have a lot of money to grocery shop. I tell them the whole hustle. Like, look, man, you go to Smartphone Extra, buy in bulk, buy, like, a hundred forty sixty dollars worth of groceries that'll last you three months if you do it right you need to know you buy in bulk you will trust me i know damn well forty dollars in groceries is not feeding dog, your ass dog. I'm going i made twenty dollars stretch one four months weeks. one time don't tell i made twenty dollars stretch four months don't talk don't tell me you can't make forty dollars worth of grocery stretch all right man that's why i went to how do you, why do you think i'm the king of free shit how much how much free stuff did i get you in college just all the free food, all the free pizza. Come on, go ahead all and say right, it. All right, say it for right. public record. All right, can, can, can we can we switch up segments now? Yeah, I think we just did. All right. On a lighter note, man, I want to talk about Madden. For those of you who now I'm pissed off again. For those of you who have listened to this show over the whole entire journey, you'll know that back in the day, me and Kenny used to um, either start the show by playing Madden beforehand or afterwards. Play Madden and talk shit about it on Snapchat and Twitter. That was part of the show. So, just a little insight probably, on the touchdown. We probably should get back on show. Twitch and do that again. Yeah, we probably should. But <laughs> the point is, Madden has always been a part of this show. Madden will always be a part of this show. Hopefully, we get a Madden tournament sometime. Shout and out we, to Keith. Shout out to Corsair Radio. Happen. We want the smoke. And no, Warren can't play with the Eagles. No, you can't. But, yeah, man, I know you have some problems with the Madden rating, so you want to go first or you some, want me to go some first? problems? Pick a team, and I'll tell you what problem I got. 
First off, man. Start the overall Raiders. First off, I'm a Raiders fan. Die hard. So I just start but, there? <laughs> but, but the Raiders should not be rated higher than the Chargers. Like, top to bottom, the Chargers have a better roster. Okay, first off, there's only two teams rated above 80. The Patriots and the Eagles. The Eagles are rated 90 overall. The Patriots are rated 84. Everybody else is between, like, 79 and, like, 75, I think. And, like, it's the most trash ratings I've ever seen. On top of that, they got Lamar Jackson rated as a 67 overall with a 92 speed, 94 acceleration, and, like, 92 throw power. And I'm just really tired of black quarterbacks getting disrespected because there's a lot of white quarterbacks out here who are straight up trash. Like Jimmy, was it? Well, sh- well, well, okay, okay. So I'll take that back with the 80s, but, like, there's a couple. Okay, so the Raiders are 81. Oh, here's an update. The on Rams this. are an 80. The Chargers are a 77. The 49ers are a 78. The Falcons and the Steelers are 83, and the Saints are 83. And the 90s. And the Eagles are 90. The Vikings Listen. are 82. Jaguars are 82. Cowgirls, I mean Cowboys, or whatever Listen, they, man, the Rams 81. should be a lot higher than an 80. Titans First are 81. Off, Rams are 80. The Chargers should be way higher than a 77. Seahawks and Chiefs are 80. By the way, shout out to Mikael. The Raiders are high, rated higher than the Chiefs. He probably hot. He probably ain't <laughs> listening. He going to be mad. And the Seahawks are an 80 still. Why are the Seahawks an 80? That doesn't make any sense. Their O-line is trash. Their receivers are hit or miss. I've seen better ratings from an NCAA football game. Yeah, man, and and this is this is below the fold. So I think there's actually more teams below this, but I don't can't even see them. So I guess they don't matter. Uh, I'll pull it up, but this is gross. Like the Madden ratings are gross. They just said, you know what? You're either pretty good. Really good, the Patriots, or you won the Super Bowl, or so you're Eagles. the best team. Yeah, pretty and I'm much. like, you look kind of lazy ass. This is lazier than some of the plot holes in the Avengers, honestly. And honestly, another thing I have a problem with receiver ratings. Why is Odell Beckham Jr. a 94 after playing one game? Well, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not, what we're not going to do is sit up here and slander a man who. He's the second best receiver. Bro, even. Dirt, injured, dirt, he's better dirt, than most players dirt. in the okay, league. Okay, okay, fine, whatever, fine. But, J- David Johnson's a but, 92 and he broke his wrist, but, but he was balling out I that game. I don't think he's a 94. He's a 97. I think he's a 90. What? Okay. And explain further. How was he further, a 90? Further. I need answers. Further. He didn't lose speed. Further. A.J. Green is not a 93 either. A.J. Green should also be like a 90, 91. Well, he's hovered around like a 92. And honestly, PS2 had Hopkins, better. Should be feel disrespected that Odell Beckham Jr. and AJ Green are both above him. Not really, because he's not faster than either one of them. He's been more consistent. Hasn't yeah, had he, as many. Injuries. Doesn't he have like the best hands in the game? Of them. He has like top three. And best hands he in hasn't game. even had the quarterback play that either of those guys have. So well, if you really want to talk about are it, are we going to slander Andy Dalton now, or is or is it? I mean, we've been we've literally started our career off sl- by slandering Andy Dalton. I slander all TCU players during that time because they all got popped for drugs. Shout out to Tank Carter. That was rude, but he got cut by the Browns. That's why Michael Kendricks is on the Browns, because he got cut. And C. Jordan is uh, from the Saints, right? Cameron Jordan? Yeah. Why is he a 95? Bro, he's been one of the best defensive players in the league but since he 95? came out of Cal. a 95? Yes. A 95. A 3-4 defensive end, and he puts up numbers. A uh, 95. Bro, he's been putting up numbers his whole career. Don't make me come over there and slap you. A uh, 95. Bro, go look at his career. Bro, Cam Julius, jo- I wanted Cam Jordan to be bro, a Raider prime, so bad. Prime Julius Peppers was only like a 93. No, Prime Julius Peppers was like a 99. No, he I'm wasn't. talking PS2 ratings. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was never 99. Bro, on PS2, PS2 had the most 99. respectable ratings. Bro, you already admitted. That you change your ratings, so I don't can't even take it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, caught in the line. No, he's smiling. We're I not did streaming. Not say that. We're not streaming. What I said was, <laughs> we're not streaming. But he's what smiling. I said was, <laughs> I didn't change best players' ratings. But oh. sometimes I would get free agents and and franchise mode and be cheap, and I'd find somebody who's an outside linebacker and put him at defensive end. That's what I would do. The meritocracy I put in ends and put him at is tackle. Real. Let's just say that because I would take that. strong safeties and put him at outside linebacker. Yeah. That's not changing. I didn't go in and change ratings. You did, though. You've told me that you have before. Yeah, but that was just because I was bullshitting off. That I didn't go into a franchise <laughs> with that. All right. That was for just S's and giggles. All right. Other and everybody's th- done that. Don't try to put me in a box like I'm the No, I'm not. 
Don't, okay, wait, wait. Is no, Malcolm, Jen- by what is I said. Malcolm okay. Jenkins a 93? Yeah. And what was the speed rating? Because I, I was like, if his speed Whoa, rating Malcolm- is higher than 86, I got a problem. Can we not? Can we not forget that Malcolm Jenkins was like almost out of the league, almost like a bus. Yeah, he almost was a bus. He but was he worked his way back. Bus. Then they realized, oh, and he's not a corner, and the Saints made that mistake. He's a free safety slash strong safety, and now he's perfect for this NFL. So that way, that's why he's better. That's why Pat Chung is still at eighty-one, even though he gets burnt all the time. Yeah, can I man. just get to these Raiders ratings? Go ahead. Are you okay? Khalil Mack ninety-six, deservedly so. Honestly, Kilimack will be an all-pro at all three linebacker spots and both defensive end spots. Um, Jordy Nelson, 86. Omari Cooper, 85. Did you have a problem with that, Pete? I have a major problem with that. How was Jordy Nelson that high? He's been hurt. Hashtag white receiver. Hasn't had a thousand, a thousand yards receiving since like 2015. Yeah, 14 touchdowns. Yeah. Years, two years ago. Yeah. I'm not here for it. Omari Cooper, he had a down year, but. He's not worse than Jordy Nelson. He's going to be the number one receiver. And anyone else who says different, you can add me on Twitter at Pete Certified. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Rodney Husson has 84. Even though he's one of the top three centers in the league. Rodney Harrison gets mad, disrespected, and it's only because he's a Raider. Because with the Chiefs, he was rated hella high. And then he comes to the Raiders and like, oh, it's just 84. They disrespected the whole Raiders offensive line. How is KO Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, I was going to get to it. Rashawn Melvin's 83. That's because he had a career year. Yeah, Kalichi. So well, you're telling is 82. me what's Gabe Jackson? Because I don't see it. I'm so, afraid he's like a 75. He might be, but you know what these ratings remind me of? ESPN Football 2K5. No, even those ratings weren't that bad. <laughs> at least To was rated properly. <laughs> Shout out to him running a 4-4 at 40 years old. Yeah, Donald Penn's 81. Derek Carr's 82. He deserves that. Marcus Gilchrist is 81. But you're telling me KO. Martavius Bryant's a 79. KO, who's probably a top five, top three guard in the whole entire NFL, is only an 82. Like in 82. You're telling me he's only one point better than Donald Penn. You're telling me he's worse than Rodney Hudson. Do you want me to you're tell you who's tell- ahead of him? You're telling me Rashad Melvin is a better all around football player. Then Kalichi Osamili. David Andrews, the guard for the New England Patriots, is rated That's higher boo-boo. than him. That's boo boo. That's bullshit. You want me to keep going? Because I can keep going. Go ahead, man. G- uh, g- give me some other shit that will make me mad off man ratings. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, the- oh, Ezekiel Anza is 83. Eh. He had 10 sacks. Bro, stop. Eh. You wanted him to be a Raider. I did. And then he, bef- he blew up the league. Three years ago before he blew up. He got injured one year, of course. Before he blew up. Because you're like, he's not going to be that good. When he was like a hybrid end. He was always a 4-3 four, four, defensive end. But then he bulked up, and then he kind of went to the hybrid end tackle role. And now but I'm he's like, strong. Eh, he was strong as hell, I'm though. I'm good. He was I fast like, and strong. I feel like them taking Kyle Van Noy the next year kind of messed up his trajectory because they were like, oh, They okay. ruined Kyle Van Noy. They were like, oh, okay. So since we have Van Noy, we're going to play you on the weak side, and we're going to move Anza to the strong side. And they made Anza bulk up, but I would have kept him on the weak that side. That actually helped him because he had 15 and a half sacks. He's yeah. actually a premier D- – he had five sacks last year in one game. Uh, he had a crazy number last year. Leonard Williams, who I think was an all-pro – or close to it, 83 overall for the Jets. Yeah, I think he's better than Anza. I think he should be higher for sure. He's the same rating as Malik Jackson. Yeah. Calais Campbell, 85 overall, and he had 14 and a half sacks last year. I, I, think, to, I think that's solid for him. Bro, I'm when okay I used to play that. with the I'm okay with that. I used to play with the Cardinals and Madden. I would put him I would switch the defense from a 3-4 to a 4-3 and put him at D-tackle, and he was like 96. Get to Lamar, bro. Tell us what Lamar is, according to MadnessCool.com. Oh, uh, yeah. I said he's a 67 overall. That's what they said. That is so fucking disrespectful. Because he's black. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even say Are what Joe Flacco me? is. He's seven points better than B. Banks was. He's a 67. In Madden 2004? Bro, they, got no other, they have no Are other quarterback. Me? They have no other rookie quarterback on here. It's just him. Are you kidding me, though? And they only have his speed. I'm he's like, two right. points higher than Seneca Wallace as a rookie. Seneca Wallace. Are you, is is that what we're saying here? He's worse than Travaris Jackson was. Sean as Watson a is a Travaris 70. Travaris Jackson was not even a 67. Like, let's really talk about it. Bro, Bro Sean Vince Watson Young, is a 78. Explain Vince, that to me. Vince after Young the year was, not a was not a 67. 
And Deshaun Watson is 78. I'm okay with that. He's at least in variance. Which, which you is, could go a little bit higher, but because of the injury, I'm okay with him being a little bro, bit lower. He had like the best rookie years ever. He was on pace to have one of the best years in NFL history.